Wait, 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 we got gold. We're back today at the $190 unit that I bought about a week ago. Now I bought five that actual auction. So we've got a lot to go through, but we're gonna do this one first because this one's got me excited. We're gonna call this one the war hero unit because we already know he served in North Korea, Japan, Panama Canal. He was in the Air Force, he passed away. I can't find the relatives. And he definitely loves Native American history. We've seen a lot of those items already. And I feel like there's going to be a tremendous amount of antiques and amazing finds in this actual unit. If you know what the items are and I don't, make sure you timestamp. For example, time stamping would be the time in the video where it's actually at. You see the item. Let's say it's 10 minutes and 13 seconds. You would type 10 and then a colon and then 13. And what that does is that creates a hyperlink that everybody can actually click on in your comment. And we can all see what in the world you're talking about. And if you see something you're interested in, because there are so many comments that we get on our videos, just message us directly, whatthehails at yahoo.com. We'll see if we can help you out with something. Yesterday I shared that there was a lot of water that got through the door, and I figured out why. Because when that grating would actually get blocked up and clogged, this was the path of least resistance. The water rose, it went under the door. So if you've got a unit that you rent, always make sure you're away from the actual sewer drain. I don't have the trailer to haul all of this stuff today. I actually have the trailer empty because I need a lot of help this weekend and I called in the big guns for this weekend. You'll see what I mean. Let's dig in. Let's see what we can find. There's Bucky. I figured since so many of you, men and female all alike, love all of this, this, uh, Whatever you would call it, I would show you this bag that ripped open. Look at these beautiful blankets. I mean, obviously somebody in the family took a ton of time to do a lot of great work here. I don't know what you would call it. Is that cross stitching? Is that going to be a crochet? It doesn't look like the normal crochet to me, but absolutely gorgeous blankets. Look at that. Look at that. That's just beautiful. Now, the other thing that fell when I pulled that bag down, Ozark Trail, four-person tent. So we get these all the time. Like Every unit has them, and they sell so well at the warehouse. Come this season, everybody's getting ready, especially before July 4th, or a memorial or Labor Day. You know, everybody needs a tent. So that'll be a quick, I don't know, 30, 40 bucks. Here's another box. has a camo blanket on top of it. So that looks pretty cool. Look at that. The, who knows how much hours of work went into that. That's just, I don't know, that's probably something handmade, something really special. Look at this, puzzles and, is this what I think it is? Yeah, that's the big mouth Billy Bass. I don't know how much these are worth anymore. Uh, batteries probably need to be replaced if they're even if they're even in there. Well, we'll check that later. So we got puzzles. We got more than enough puzzles. We got, we got puzzles upon puzzles with no boxes. Here's one in a box. Now, believe it or not, these actually, if you get an old enough puzzle, some of these puzzles sell really well on eBay. And that's where you would go. We get a lot of people contacting us after our eBay seminar. Jeremy, are you gonna do it again? We are gonna do the eBay seminar again. And we're gonna take more participants. It's gonna be probably the end of June. We're still working on the date. And that's what we do. We teach you how to maximize your profit. Here's a Monopoly board. Looks a little rough. Looks like, wow, that's a good sign. Look at that. They were so meticulous that they actually put they separated all the money. Here we go. There we go. Get out of jail free. Get out of jail free. Get out of jail free. You know what? These are going to go in my wallet just in case I get pulled over for speeding. For those who are always concerned about my knees, we had a wonderful subscriber actually send us knee pads. I found this up in the unit, so I thought, hey, why not throw it down and let's see if it works and it feels incredible. We've got some stuffed animals. There's some Thai Beanie Boo. 
Beanie Boo, and here's a Beanie Baby. Now remember, Beanie Babies, if it's the right one, can be worth still a lot of money. You wanna open up the tag on your Beanie Babies, and you wanna look for misprints, misspellings, you know, like if, if knife is pronounced knife, but it's K apostrophe knife, you know, knife, that would be making it worth more. So you wanna check all those things on the tags, which look, there's even a poo one. Never can have enough poo, right? You got a monkey. You know, you know, some of these things can be worth quite a bit of money. Here is a holiday ornament, Johnny Lightning. I've never seen an ornament from Johnny Lightning before. I know they make die cast cards. That's an ornament. You actually hang that van up. Here is uh, the Bride of Frankenstein. And the date, the date is 1998. Bride of Frankenstein. Hopefully you can see that. Here's some collectibles down here. Look at this. So you got Richie Rich. There's the A-Team and Activity Book. Now, stuff like this with the A-Team, or even look here, Ghostbusters. Like I sold, I sold a Ghostbuster coloring book, a water coloring book, I don't know, 25, 30 bucks. The pages were already colored. This stuff is high collectible for those who love it. So don't just toss it aside, toss it on eBay, and you'll get the high dollars for those collectibles. There's another box, and... see we've got we've got a bird I'm not sure what kind of bird you would call that that looks like Avon is that Avon I don't think it I don't know if it's Avon or not I couldn't read it upside down here this one's Avon looks like the head fell off I, I can smell it too uh, we've got we got a big would that be a hedgehog that's a hedgehog I think another stuffed animal we got, <laughs> there's a Duck Dynasty gnome, Uncle Cy. Yeah, that's Uncle Cy. Uncle Cy, Duck Dynasty gnome. What's this? This looks like a horse. I see a tail right here. And it is, if it's a briar, it is a briar. Look. Look right there. You see that stamp on the lid? I suppose if I could put it in there. I can't see. I can't see if you can see it or not. I can't see but right there there should be a stamp by the leg so that's a briar so a lot of you know that briars are worth something I saw another box with camo so I had to grab it let's see what's inside and we got a couple camo hats that one I mean there's I don't think there's any doubt this guy's a hunter at least he was a hunter and this is a 4XL, yeah, 4XL Northwest Territory. It doesn't look like a 4XL. Wait, 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 here we go, here we go. You see that peeking out of there? There's antlers. There's antlers right there. Now, they're tied, so typically what they would do is come rut. You call in the bucks. Looks like called in that one a little bit too rough. Broke the tip off. That's cool. Hey, and here's a, kind of gross, but... A leg bone? I'm not sure why. Anybody know why a hunter would actually? I, again, I've never hunted, so. But I'm just curious. Anybody know why you would actually keep that bone? Odd to me. Looks like some coconut art here. Hand. Oh, have fun. So, have fun. We've got. We've got magic cards, and if they're the right cards, look at that, the dice and the cards. We're gonna have to look at all these cards. Some of these magic cards can go for a lot of money. You have to have the right card. Here is Legion. That one says Legion. Hopefully that's not a reference to what I think it is a biblical reference to. I've never did anything with the cards, but I do I do have a local guy who collects them and likes to likes to buy them from me. Let's see if I can get those back in. There we go. There's the Hobbit. Can't beat that. And here looks like yeah, there's more Magic the Gathering. Uh, battle for something. I don't know. I don't know about these cards, but look, there they are. So 
I don't know why this guy would have it. Looks like maybe grandkids were there. Here's more Indian art. And there's more Indian art. And I don't know if you would call that Indian art. And whoa, 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 whoa. First of all, holy cow. That is a boulder holder over the shoulder. If I have ever seen one, I'm not sure you would call this Indian art, but man alive, he had this wrapped up in it. Look at that. Look at that. So Indian art there, you just hang that up on the wall, arrowhead, cool. Okay, there's an old mouse trap. Scissors, always cut away from the sausage. Prayers for the sick room. We've got a purse. Let's check the purse out. <laughs> Very carefully because the last purse got me good. And some have asked, why didn't you have your gloves on? Well, it's because the side pocket was so small, my fingers couldn't get in there and I shoved my finger right straight down. And it got me nothing, nothing. Nothing, nothing, oh, here's a back. Nothing, nope. wait, wait. Hey, 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 look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that. All right, we're back. I had to edit that portion out because I flipped it over and showed you the numbers. There's a McDonald's card and let's make sure we don't screw this one up. This one says $5. That's the Henry Station. That's a, that's a local place here in Worcester. George and I just went there a couple weeks ago and loved it. Here's a Domino's. There's a Domino's. Louis Vuitton. Boy, if that's a gift card. No, that's not a gift card. So I don't know what this would go to. Probably to authenticate whatever you bought, but let's see. Let's be careful because I don't have my glove on again. We're good. All right, we're good. At least we got some gift cards. We'll have to call and see what's going on with those. A chocolate chip cookie in a in a uh, old pan. Look at this old horseshoe decorative art. And look at that horseshoe candle holder. That's pretty cool. There's a tractor, keychain. Lots of people collect keychains in East Sport something or other. Let's put that back down. Here's a giant Bible, family Bible. We've got so many of these at the actual warehouse. Yeah. You always want to look through and see if they put money in there. Just a couple cup holders. You know, nothing significant. What's that? There's a Budweiser. I don't know what you would call that. What kind of mug? Would that be a pint? All right, another box. Here we go. We've got uh, Jim Bean, the Old West. This guy absolutely loved the Old West. And, oh my goodness, Bucky. Bucky's gonna run again, guys. Look at that. I don't know why you would wanna keep that, but. Bucky is going to actually be able to run again. Oh, that's kind of gross. That is really kind of gross. Well, they're all four in there. That's probably to our buddy Bucky. So I'll see what I can do to get him some help. Get him back up on his feet again. Literally. And we got a cowboy boot collection. So here is... Cowboy boot collection. We got a lot of stuff that's wrapped up. Look, look at that there. I got a feeling. Yeah, grab this one next. Oh, more horses. Look at that. So horses. I wonder if this went like in a curio cabinet. Look at that. Indian artifacts. Cool. And that Old West Wolf. That looks like a canteen. 
And we got we got a cactus and we got a horse. There's the cactus and the horse. What's this? This looks big. This is heavy. This is big and heavy. You know what that is? That's petrified wood, I bet. Look at that. That's gotta be petrified wood. This thing is heavy. And look, at there's an identificator on it. All right, so anybody know what does that mean? K85-6-6. So I think this is petrified wood. It is extremely heavy. I'm just curious of what it, what else it could be. It's got to be petrified wood. All right. Let's see what we have here, and we got a little Indian doll. This reminds me of the first unit that George ever bought. That was filled with Indian artifacts. Let's see what else we got. Oh, here's something down here. Look at this. If you, can we, yeah, there we go. You can slide it open. Okay, American Indians in the military. So this has American Indians in the military. This looks, that's a moccasin. I think that's a moccasin. So this is a display case. Oh wait, there's other things in here too. Look at this. Okay, I'm pretty sure that doesn't have anything to do with the American Indians in the military. But there are other items in here. So you got yin and yang, black and white in regards to the, that's pretty, in regards to the earrings. Huh. But the, look, then you got, you got the uh, dream catcher or the American Indian art right there. Just so curious what we're gonna end up finding in this unit. This unit has so much. So much. I've got help coming. So that's a good thing for sure. All right. Uh, this is probably all going to be the same kind of thing. Yeah, like that. You know, so let's move on to the next thing. I found this what I would only describe as like a homemade box. And so I thought it looks kind of cool because it's got the North America Hunting Club on it. So I thought maybe, 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 maybe we'd get lucky. So here we go. In three two one um i don't know if that's luck we got sunglasses miniature book of tea okay miniature book of tea we got a bible we got there's an eagle is that silver there's an eagle i don't see silver markings on it though Here's a couple lighters. Get her done. Hunting is life. Uh, here's a bell. Christmas 1994. Etched in it. Look at that. That's from the Sterling Company. So, is this silver? Would this actually be silver or silver plated? You tell me. It looks like handmade silver plated. Right? Looks like it to me. Let's see what we have here. Oh, look at that. I know somebody who's going to want those. Look at the giant the giant wooden ones. I wonder if they made them. Huh. Interesting. Old cell phone. Look at that. All the all the American flag pens. We got some other things in here. Look, there's an apple. It's kind of cool. Yeah, more flags. What's this? What's that? That is United States of America and God we trust. I've never seen this before. Liberty. What does that say? I'm trying to look through at the same time. 19 something. Because I can't see. I'm upside down. I'm trying to look through the viewfinder. Wait, 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 wait. We got gold. See that right there? We got gold. We got gold down at the bottom. We got fine gold. 
Look at that. Oh, I hope we find more. I hope we find more. We can only hope in this unit.